Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Kent Davidson Urban Adventures and we are on Burgon Street EC4 and there's a nice little blue plaque there saying Farringdon Ward within 1878 so I've never been down here before but um absolutely loving the, the character and the atmosphere here. It's New Year's Day 2021 <clears throat> and most of the city is completely deserted and an example of the, the times we live in a empty defunct premises. With the views as fine as this, you really need no commentary. The, the little lanes, the passageways, they, they say everything. No voiceover really needed. Absolutely magnificent. And this pub affiliated to the Courage Brewery, established in 1787. Just some great details on that pub there, and of course the the uh, the cockerel, I believe, the uh, sign of the, the Courage Brewery. But look at the, um, the shape of the, the building; absolutely beautiful. So, as I said, I've never really explored this quarter, and looks uh, pretty fascinating. Not even sure what uh, what this quite is. It seems to be sort of private residential and then of course you've got this what looks like some sort of church here. See if we can find out what the church is from the front, I should say. <clears throat> Provocative name there, Wardrobe Terrace, EC4, leading to 146A Queen Victoria Street. So something a bit special there. And in fact, this is St Andrew by the Wardrobe Parish Church, Castle Banyard Ward Church. And it is pretty special. There's a fantastic clock face, which I'm going to zoom you up there. Have a look at that. 
and there's a little gold feature at the top there. So from the, the style of the building, the brickwork, I'm guessing that's probably around 1800, I would say, yeah, maybe a bit later, maybe between 1800, 1820, something like that. Um, it may be older, I could have got that wrong. And that's a bit difficult to read, but you've got these uh, fine urns there. And the, the steps are great. And then looking up there, I like the, the sort of window up there. It's quite nice. And then the sound of uh, Blackfriars Bridge, oh, sorry, Blackfriars Station there. And there's something over here saying Banyard House. Now, no idea what that's all about. Um, there's some pretty intriguing faces over there. Uh, I think we need to have a look. Um, just showing you um, Queen Victoria Street is completely dead. Not a, not a sign of life at all. And the walkie-talkie building there in the middle of your picture. Let's have a look up here. Okay, so it's connected to British Telecom. And this is slightly unusual. Well, it's more than slightly, it's very unusual. I've never seen anything looking like that before. I'll make myself dizzy if I go around too many times. It's extremely strange. There's a lot of writing on it, so if I can find the start of it, I'll uh, tell you what it all means. So here we go. It says, at first the infant mewling and puking in the nursery, in, in the nurse's arms. Okay, so that's one sentence and see if we can see. And then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like a snail. And I cannot read that. What the hell is that? Creep, creeping like snail Oh, unwillingly to school. Okay, so that's that sentence. And then we go round again. And... <laughs> okay, so I've read that bit. So presumably this is the next part. And then the lover sighing like 
furnace with a woeful, is it, ballad made to his mistress eyebrow. Um, <clears throat> so I think uh, you've got an idea of, uh, of that. Um, I'm certainly not going to do any more rotations or I'll uh, give myself a headache. Um, but uh, glad I came over to see what it's about. I've never seen anything in any part of the world resemb resembling that. It's quite curious. But um, there's a good view of the building opposite there, um, which is in fact um, connected to, I can see the word um, Scientology. Um, and indeed it is the uh, Church of Scientology London and I mentioned um, Scientology in a previous video but there's a good view of cross there of the church that we were looking at just sort of five or ten minutes ago. So obviously this is a premises connected to BT, but it's um, not much uh, life going on at the moment. And I'm not sure what that is. So let's recross Great Victoria Street and I'm going to see if I can find some more little alleys and uh, passageways. And in fact, the, the architecture on this side of the street is all pretty great. But we'll go up Island Yard again.
Friar Street. And I really do like this street. This is called Carter Lane. And just look at this place, Coffee House. And then you've got this sign up here, Carter's Hall. It's just um, pretty evocative in my book of, uh, of London past. And then you've got this fantastic pub here, the rising sun. And that we've seen before. So, I guess uh, I should probably go this way. If I ever show you pubs and you see this thing here, cask mark, this is always a good thing to, to notice. It means that they do sell real ales or craft beers and they um, presumably keep them uh, in the best way possible. Um, it's um, a sign just applied, uh, I think, within Britain. Um, and it's really for your real ales or car scales. The, uh, the worldwide international craft beer scene is, um, is a newer thing and is um, a, a different kettle of fish, really, to the um, the appreciation of the the British uh, real ale pint. And look at this here, church entry EC4. I'm never going to pass up the opportunity to investigate these kind of places. This is pretty interesting. On this plot of land stood in the Middle Ages, part of the preaching nave of the church of the great Dominican Priory at Blackfriars. The choir lay the other side of the church entry and the name church entry indicates the usual passage between the nave and chancel, passing north and south beneath the steeple. In the planning of a friar's church, the nave had seven bays, blah, blah, blah. Um, the important, interesting bits to me is that the priory founded in 1278 was dissolved in 1538. And subsequently this plot was used as a churchyard for the parish of St. Anne Blackfriars. It was closed for burials in 1849. And there's just, um, few gravestones there. And uh, unfortunately the, the gate is locked, uh, otherwise urban adventures would be in there for a closer look. But again you'll notice one of the um, Corporation of London's little information boards there. And here we've got St. Anne's Vestry Hall and this old sign there.
and what a gem that is that's just a magnificent piece of um, what I would say is uh, late 18th century architecture and we need to look at this plaque and no surprises it has a city heritage award from 1985 presented by the city heritage society and the worshipful company of painter stainers and it is just um a bit special and you can see uh, a sign of the times there it's got um a two let sign on it flexible office space but it's just um just a little gem behind Blackfriars Station. I mean, it is absolutely magnificent in my book. And look at this here, Playhouse Yard. So what was this? Was this um, perhaps uh, some sort of factory or, or such like could have been even facility for a school or hospital? Just very interesting and we're just right behind Blackfriars Station there. Um, and let's go up here. This is the Apothecaries Hall with uh, some pretty nice details on there. And of course the doorway, the knocker displaying the, um, the lion's head, which is a feature that was cropped up uh, on uh, other of our walks. And it's just um, just a bit atmospheric. Uh, I've never explored this part of um, the city before. Let's go up here. That's looking south towards uh, the tower there on the south bank. And just look at that wall there. I mean, that's um, some weathering there, isn't it? And from this higher vantage point, you can really see the, the upper floors of the, uh, the building opposite. And at least uh, something's open over there, a coffee shop. So uh, I can warm up after this recording. But I uh, do love that little um, corner.
corner angle there. This is uh, unusual. This wall has artistic importance. Please do not park your motorcycles in this area. And you can see it does have some decent sort of uh, ceramic type work. Looks like uh, the old Rubik's Cube there. various sort of patterns and optical illusions. And it does uh, continue right across. And that has almost a three dimensional effect when seen from sort of four meters away. So quite what these, uh, these works or these pieces are doing, the back of this building where no one is actually looking at them, I don't know, but um, you and I have uh, discovered them, so we'll, we'll enjoy them. by a pretty good angle on that uh, church up there. And the dome of St Paul's. Now I'm torn between which direction to go in because I've spotted a, a little passageway directly over there. Um, I think we need a look at that. I'll probably end up having to backtrack, but um, I need to see what that's about first. And just look at this white, tall building there. I mean, there's the, the two cream colored buildings. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's very much uh, in a sort of French style, isn't it? I mean, you see those sort of houses all over Paris, um, but pretty uh, elegant and uh, do enjoy those. crossing over here and showing you the other way just there. This is called Bride Court EC4. Uh, 
and it is uh, a passage where I have been down here before. Um, I do recognize this. Where I, am, where I am now is basically the south side of Fleet Street. And this pub, The Old Bell, I did feature in a previous video. You can just read that, built by Sir Christopher Wren. It says, we have been a licensed tavern for over 300 years, but sadly now closed. But we'll have a look, a closer look if we can at St. Bride's Church. And it's uh, locked and bolted, but um, I can show you the character of the, the walls there. Um, there's a good view looking down there. It's got some decent, uh, large stained windows there, round circular windows. Let me zoom you up on the top there. And quite an attractive little garden at the side of it there. Okay, let's press on. somewhere else but there's something up here and it's pretty interesting which, re which um, reflects the previous nature of Fleet Street as being a home of the newspaper and it says the first number of the Sunday Times was edited at 4 Salisbury Court by Henry White October 20 1822 so certainly some heritage with the newspapers here um, at Fleet Street and uh, the streets off of it and on this building itself there are one or two interesting details particularly uh, that head just like that Just um, 
quite attractive brickwork, um, in my opinion. But let's have a, oh, that's quite a nice aspect. Let's have a, a nose around the back here, see what we can see. And have I spotted what looks like a mini Cleopatra's needle there? See the um, pyramid type structure there. I just have to show you this detail up here. This is something called the St. Bride's Institute Foundation. And there's some information just up there. And I can slightly enlarge it for you there. And it says the memorial stone of St. Bride Foundation Institute was laid in 1893 by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and the Institute opened in 1894 as a cultural and educational centre for the City of London. It stands on the site of the Bridewell Palace of King Henry VIII and is the home of the internationally known St. Bride printing library and theatre. There's the same bit of information the bride well. So I think we'll cross over and get back to that little area where I was in just earlier.
pretty good look at what I showed you earlier, that sort of weathered piece of wall there. And last time we went up that way, so we'll go a different way this time. And just showing you these different street posts. These ones, of course, are everywhere and they have this uh, sort of detail on them there. There's the um, the, the flag of St George, the English flag, and sort of a couple of beasts either side. And then you've got the these thinner ones, quite elegant in style. And they're they're really the same the same thing. Just showing you those two there. And the names of streets are just so evocative in, in this part of London. Like for example, Blackfriars Lane there. The site of the Priory of the Blackfriars, founded 1278. And then, great name there, Ludgate Broadway. And this, which is a, a gem, as I said previously, Carter Lane. Carter Court. so interesting to me. And here you've got something called Cobb's Court. passageway like that always needs to be done a second time. Don't know what you think.
you've been watching Kent Davidson Urban Adventures and for more great behind the scenes looks of the capital city visit my YouTube channel. Bye for now.